How to Build Wealth in an Inflated Economy Tips and Strategies Building wealth is a goal that many individuals aspire to to achieve in their lifetime. However, in an inflated economy, where the value of money decreases over time, it can be challenging to accumulate wealth. An inflated economy is characterized by rising prices, reduced purchasing power, and increased cost of living. In such a scenario, it is essential to adopt a long-term wealth-building strategy that considers the current economic situation. Here are some tips on how to build wealth in an inflated economy. 1. Invest in assets that appreciate in value. One of the best ways to build wealth in an inflated economy is to invest in assets that appreciate over time. These assets include real estate, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Real estate is a popular investment choice for building wealth as it tends to appreciate over time, providing a steady income stream and tax benefits. Stocks, bonds, and mutual funds are good investment options for long-term wealth building as they tend to deliver higher returns over time. There are several feasible and realistic ways to invest in assets that appreciate. Here are a few options. Stocks. Investing in stocks can be a great way to earn returns on your investment. Historically, the stock market has generated an average annual return of around 10%. However, investing in individual stocks can be risky, so it's essential to do your research and diversify your portfolio. Source, Investopedia. Real Estate. Real estate can be a good investment because it has the potential to appreciate over time. Additionally, owning a rental property can provide a steady stream of income. However, investing in real estate can be expensive and requires a lot of research and due diligence. Source. Forbes. Cryptocurrencies. Investing in cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum can be a high-risk, high-reward investment. The value of cryptocurrencies can be volatile and difficult to predict, but some investors have made significant profits by investing in them. Source. CNBC. Artwork. Collecting artwork can be an excellent investment because the value of certain pieces can appreciate over time. However, Investing in artwork requires a lot of knowledge and expertise, and it can be challenging to predict which pieces will increase in value. Source, The Balance. Precious Metals. Investing in precious metals like gold or silver can be an excellent way to diversify your portfolio and protect against inflation. Precious metals have a long history of retaining their value over time. Source, Investopedia. Recent discussions among the BRICS country Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa have raised concerns about the potential impact of their actions on the U.S. dollar's status as the world reserve currency. While it is difficult to predict the future, any changes in the dollar situation could affect global financial markets. Source, Eichen Green B. and Flandura M. 2010. The Federal Reserve, the Bank of England, and the dollar's rise in an international currency, 1914 through 1939. Open Economies Review, 21 1, pages 57 through 87. When considering investments, there are various options to evaluate. Real estate, a popular investment option. Real estate has historically shown consistent growth over long periods. Source, Case, K, E, and Schiller, 1989. The Efficiency of the Market for Single-Family Homes, the American Economic Review, 71, 1, pages 125 through 137. However, like any investment, it is not risk-free and property values can fluctuate. Precious Metals Gold and silver have long been considered store of value. Many investors view them as a hedge against economic uncertainty. Source, Bauer and Lucy, 2010. Is gold a hedge or a safe haven? An Analysis of Stocks, Bonds, and Gold, Financial Review, 45, 2, pages 217 through 229. While they may not offer high returns, they can stabilize a diversified investment portfolio. Cryptocurrencies. These digital assets have gained popularity in recent years, but their value can be volatile and is not backed by any tangible assets. Source. Euromac, 2015, Is Bitcoin a Real Currency? An Economic Appraisal. In Handbook of Digital Currency, pages 31 through 43, Academic Press. Stocks and Bonds. 
Investing in stocks and bonds can offer potential returns, but they also come with risks. Diversifying your investment across various asset classes can help mitigate these risks. Source, Markowitz, 1952, Portfolio Selection, The Journal of Finance, 7, 1, pages 77 through 91. Each investment option has its advantages and risks. It is essential to consider one's investment goal and risk tolerance before making decisions. Diversification across asset classes can help to manage risk and provide potential long-term growth. Again, it's important to note that investing in any asset involves risk, and there's no guarantee that your investment will appreciate. It's always a good idea to research, diversify your portfolio, and consult with a financial advisor before making investment decisions. 2. Diversify your portfolio. It is essential to diversify your investment portfolio to minimize risk and maximize returns. A diversified portfolio can include a mix of stocks, bonds, real estate, and other alternative investments, such as precious metals, commodities, and cryptocurrencies. Diversification helps to spread out your risk and ensure that your wealth building strategy is not overly dependent on any one investment. Diversification is a crucial strategy for managing investment risk by spreading investments across different asset classes and sectors. Here are some feasible and realistic ways to diversify your portfolio. Invest in index funds or exchange traded funds or ETFs. These funds track a broad market index, such as the S&P 500, providing exposure to various companies and sectors. By investing in multiple index funds or ETFs, investors can diversify across different asset classes and regions. Consider bonds. Bonds can provide diversification benefits by offering a source of income and a lower level of volatility than stocks. Investors can diversify further by investing in bonds with different maturities, credit ratings, and sectors. Explore alternative investments. Alternative investments such as real estate, commodities, and private equity can provide diversification benefits by offering exposure to assets that are not closely correlated with traditional stock and bond investments. Consider international investments. Investing in global markets can provide diversification benefits by exposing investors to economies and sectors unavailable in their home country. Investors can invest in international stocks or mutual funds focusing on a specific region or country. Use a robo-advisor. Robo-advisors use algorithms to create and manage a diversified portfolio based on an investor's risk tolerance and investment goals. Investing in a robo-advisor can benefit from professional investment management and diversification across asset classes. 3. Cut expenses. In an inflated economy, the cost of living tends to be high, making it essential to cut expenses wherever possible. Cutting expenses can include reducing discretionary spending, negotiating bills, and looking for ways to save on basic costs such as housing, transportation, and food. Cutting expenses can free up more money to invest in wealth building opportunities. Here are some feasible and realistic ways to cut down living expenses. Make a budget and stick to it. Identify where you can make cutbacks and prioritize your spending. Track your expenses and adjust your budget as needed. Reduce your housing costs by downsizing, finding a roommate, or negotiating rent. Consider living in a more affordable area or finding a rent-controlled apartment. Save money on groceries by planning your meals, buying in bulk, and taking advantage of sales and coupons. Avoid eating out and pack your lunch. Use public transportation, carpool, or bike to work instead of driving alone. These alternatives can save you money on gas, parking, and car maintenance. Cancel subscriptions and memberships you don't use or need. These cancellations can include gym memberships, streaming services, and magazine subscriptions. Reduce your utility bills by turning off lights and appliances when not in use, using energy-efficient light bulbs, and adjusting your thermostat. Avoid impulse purchases and stick to your shopping list. Compare prices and shop around for the best deals. Consider earning extra income, such as freelance work or a side hustle. 4. Increase your income. Building wealth in an inflated economy requires a steady income stream. To increase your revenue, consider taking on a side hustle, upgrading your skills to qualify for higher paying jobs, or starting a business. 
Additional income can be invested in wealth building opportunities or used to pay off debt. There are several feasible and realistic ways to increase your income, and here are some of them. Ask for a raise. If you are employed, one of the most straightforward ways to increase your income is to ask for a raise. Be prepared to present evidence of your contributions to the company and how you have added value to the organization. Freelancing or side hustles. Freelancing or starting a side hustle is an excellent way to increase your income. Freelancing can include freelance writing, graphic design, tutoring, or even driving for ride-sharing companies. Upskilling. Consider learning new skills that are in demand and can help you command a higher salary. These skills could be anything from coding to digital marketing. Taking courses, attending workshops, or obtaining a certification can help you upskill. Investing. Invest in the stock market or real estate, which could help you earn more money. However, remember that investing involves risks and requires research and knowledge. Sell unused items. Sell items you no longer need or use on platforms like eBay, Craigslist, or Facebook Marketplace. Selling can help you earn some extra cash. Rent out a spare room or parking space. If you have an extra room or parking space, consider renting it out on platforms like Airbnb or Spot Hero. 5. Pay off debt. High debt levels can limit wealth building ability. In an inflated economy, debt can be particularly challenging to manage as interest rates tend to be high. To build wealth, it is vital to pay off debt as quickly as possible. This debt payoff can include paying more than the minimum payment consolidating debt, or negotiating with creditors to reduce interest rates. There are several feasible and realistic ways to decrease debt, including Create a budget and stick to it. One of the most effective ways to reduce debt is by creating a budget and sticking to it. Budgeting involves tracking your expenses and income to identify areas where you can reduce spending and allocate more funds towards debt repayment. Increase your income. Another way to reduce debt is to increase your revenue. This can be done by taking on a part-time job, freelancing, or finding ways to monetize your skills and hobbies. The extra income can be used to pay off debt faster. Use the debt snowball or avalanche method. The debt snowball and avalanche methods are two popular strategies for paying off debt. The snowball method involves paying off the smallest debt first, while the avalanche method involves paying off the debt with the highest interest rate first. Both methods can be effective in reducing debt. Consolidate debt. Consolidating debt involves combining multiple debts into a single loan with a lower interest rate. This consolidation can make debt repayment more manageable and save money on interest charges. Building wealth in an inflated economy can be challenging, but it is achievable. Building wealth requires a committed, long-term strategy considering the current economic situation. By investing in appreciating assets, diversifying portfolios, paying off debt, and cutting expenses, you can take steps towards a financially stable future. Remember to consult with a financial advisor and research before making any investment decisions. By following these tips, individuals can build wealth and achieve financial freedom. Various sources related to finance and investing that can help you manage your money more effectively are as follows. Starting with Bank of America. On December 19, 2022, they released their economic and market outlook for 2023. You can find the report on the website. Next up is a CNBC article from March 22, 2022, titled Finding Discretionary Money on a Tight Budget, which offers some valuable tips for those who want to save more money. In May 2021, CNBC published an article titled Cryptocurrencies Are Close to Reaching a Big Milestone Versus Gold by One Wall Street Firm's Count, which explores the potential of cryptocurrencies as a store of value. Dave Ramsey's website offers advice on building wealth through smart financial management. You can find his tips in the article titled, How to Build Wealth. If you're struggling with debt, experience article titled, Debt Consolidation, What It Is and How to Do It, offers some helpful advice. Forbes published an article on February 22, 2023, titled, How to Make Money Online, 33 Best Ideas, which offers some creative ways to earn income from the comfort of your own home. For those interested in real estate investing, Fortune Builders has an excellent resource for beginners titled Investing in Real Estate for Beginners, How to Get Started. 
Investopedia offers two articles relevant to investing. The first, published in 2021, is titled Investing in Precious Metals. The second, titled How to Invest $1,000, offers advice on how to get started with investing, even with a small amount of money. Kiplinger's article from February 15, 2022, titled Shield Your Portfolio from Inflation with These ETFs, offers some tips on protecting your investments from inflation. NerdWallet has two articles related to personal finance, How to Save Money, 20 Simple Tips, and Pay Off Debt, Tools and Tips, which offer some actionable advice for managing your money. The Balance has two articles relevant to investing, Investing in Art, A Beginner's Guide, and Reduce Living Expenses, which offer some tips on how to save money on your day-to-day expenses. Finally, the Council on Foreign Relations published an article in April 23, 2021, titled Cryptocurrencies, Digital Dollars, and the Future of Money, which explores the potential impact of cryptocurrencies and digital currencies on the global financial system. And that concludes today's episode. Shout out to Justin Smoody for his valuable input. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. Thank you for listening. 